Players. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and go over our watch list for today, our boxes, uh, and let's go ahead and see if we can start taking some of these trades. Uh, for most of you uh, who have already taken the course and are probably using the same indicators, the same method, uh, you'll probably have these lines drawn in the same location. Uh, thank you, Oscar, for the amazing watch list this morning. So NVIDIA, Shopify, Netflix, Adobe, and Amazon. Uh, he did some thorough research. Uh, and he is expecting uh, specific moves to happen uh, before we uh, go in a different direction. Uh, as far as uh, the only one I added to this list was STZ, Constellation Brands. I really like the potential for this one to have a smooth uh, move today. So I definitely added it to the watch list. This is my personal watch list. Uh, I like what uh, the, the list that uh, Oscar provided. And then I added STZ, so I just applied it all. Uh, basically here but like I said all of you should have the same lines applied to your uh, charts uh, since you should be using the same indicators if you are on technical swing so I just wanted to go over some of these and see where uh, our stops should be our targets etc so I'll go ahead and start uh, with uh, STZ since it's the number one on the list if you watch the video I just uploaded uh, you'll notice that I said it could move anywhere between eight uh, to $13 today because uh, it just announced earnings. So again, it's opening at around between 200 and 204. So looking here at this one minute chart, you can see you have a nice little box being set for you already. No matter what, this box is not changing. 204 is the, the, the entry for the upside. For the downside, using a 10 minute chart, I will use the 200. If you're using a one minute chart or lower, you can use the Darvis box uh, that it gives you. Uh, I did set it at 200 because I'm going to be using the, the 10 minute chart uh, and I want to make sure I, I break down below this level before I take, take it down here to 192 as the first target. Uh, that's an $8 run right there, <clears throat> followed by uh, the second pivot here, 187. Uh, the moves may come fast and furious, so it is nice to kind of go to the one minute chart and see if you can uh, jump in before uh, you get too much of a move again, uh, away from you. Uh, so that's that. And then again, the stop, if you jump in short at 200, the stop is 200. Uh, 204, you would layer in. Obviously, you come in with one or two contracts, maybe five. Once you see that the move is confirmed, then you go ahead and add. If you're able to add another five, 10, or 15, you can go ahead and do so. Same goes here. If you jump into the 204 and this thing comes back, whichever box you decide to use, normally my stop is the opposite side of the box. Uh, and normally I wait for a close uh, just to confirm that it does want to go in the opposite direction. Uh, so that's how I'm playing mine. My targets again, 192 uh, on the short side. And on the upside, I am targeting uh, 200. Uh, you can start taking profits at uh, 210, I would say, is my target for it. Um, so I would take profits at 207 to, to 210 uh, is my target to the upside. So I want to capture at least a 5 to $10, $8 move uh, to the upside. Um, and that's where I'm going with this one. All right, so the next one, let's go ahead and take a look at NVIDIA. All right. All right, taking a look at NVIDIA. Uh, all right, we have NVIDIA boxed in at 164.8 and 164. Uh, so basically, it was the pre-market high, uh, which was at 164.8 and 164. Uh, again, you seen the 10-minute. Let me go to the 10-minute chart. All right, so the 164A just changed to 165, but either way, it's pretty much right there. So once you see this thing start breaking higher, that's where you want to go. And then the lower line, it's at uh, 164.7 now. But the bigger line you see here, 164.8 and 164. Uh, this was the original. But if it opens above this now, then you can adjust. If you want to come down to the one minute, then you can definitely adjust uh, your box. But you have to remember, if you're using a one minute chart, you may have to adjust your targets as well because uh, you're looking at a different time frame. So you may need to take your profits a little bit earlier. But my targets for NVIDIA today, let's take a look. 
All right. On a break to the downside, I am looking to target 162.8. Uh, 162.8 is the is the, the target on the break to the upside. If you're using the one minute chart, you can jump from 165 all the way to 165.61. Uh, followed by let's see what do we have here. Uh, 167.64 uh, is the next target. Uh, that's uh, the the next resistance level uh, provided by Oscar. As you guys already saw. Um, and then followed by let's see what do we have here on the daily chart. If this thing manages to move, you can expect a move of about $4. So depending on where it opens, so we're at 164, high of 168. So that's 167 is definitely a good target. And if it opens at 164, you can expect a low of 160. Uh, so, and these pivots are two pivots in between. So I highly doubt it will break below 161 or this 200 MA right around here, 160 and change. So again, 168, 167 to 168, uh, or as low as 160 uh, and change, 161 here where this moving average is at. So to so the downside, again, I'm targeting my first target is 162.82 using the 10 minute chart. If you're using the one minute chart, you may need to get out a little bit sooner uh, unless you jump over and start managing on a higher time frame. Um, and uh, the targets provided for you. All right, 163 by Oscar. You're looking at a 163.45. If you want to take a quick profit uh, using the one minute chart, 163.45 is right about right about here. So right above the pivot, uh, you can go ahead and take that profit uh, on on Nvidia um, for you guys. Okay, so that's that there. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Next one, let's see, which one did we do? NVIDIA, STZ, let's go ahead and go to Shopify. All right, Shopify. All right, pre-market high, we have it at 305. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. All right, 305 and 302.44 uh, is the box that I'm using. Uh, so this line here and this line here. Uh, if you are using the one minute chart, you can definitely come in tighter. Once again, being that you are tighter, uh, typically you want to take profit a little bit sooner if you're not paying attention to the larger time frames or you want to get out when you see a divergence and or a reversal pattern. Uh, also, same thing for the entries. Get in on the uh, divergence and specific entry patterns, i.e. a break of the box, i.e morning, evening stars, hammers, etc., depending on when you're entering uh, the time of the day. So when looking at Shopify here, all right, your first target, if you're using the one minute chart, you're looking at 299.63. Uh, that is the, the target set by Oscar. So 299.63 is right around here, guys, okay? So if you take a short, uh, let's say it breaks this box here at 303.43. You can take it down to 299.63. It's going to be your first target followed by this pivot down here. Okay. So my targets, if it breaks on uh, my box at 302.44, I'm targeting 297.63. Uh, if I am for some reason on the one minute chart and I see a break the box, then I'm coming down. My first target again would could be that 299.63 followed by this pivot here. Um, and then to the upside, we are looking at a box of 305. Um, it's already above the 302.67 uh, first resistance or alert to go long. Um, and then followed by 306.33. And then for me, I'm expecting this thing to move around $9. Shopify has been moving pretty nicely lately, as you can see here. So my target is going to be 310.57. Okay, so if you want to take a quick profit, you can take a quick profit at 306.33, right around here. Uh, but that is pretty tight. Um, and then followed by 310.57. Okay, uh, so that's my target for uh, Shopify. Again, stops don't change. If you go in based on this box here, for example, you go along and this thing reverses and starts to come back down here. And it starts to push below it and it closes below it, especially depending on the time frame you're on. So if you're on the one minute, you see it close below here, get out. That's your stop. 
This is your stop. You go in here, so you're risking 304.87 to 305 uh, to 303. That's a $2 move, you know, $2 to a $5 gain. So, again, $2 to a $5 gain, guys, okay? So that's the risk to reward you want to keep, and you want to make sure you're, you're playing that plan out. So this is how you want to look at it every single morning. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one before we make this video too long. Nobody gets to watch it before the market opens. All right, the next one is Netflix. We're looking at 371.84 and 370.58. All right, so here's the line, 371.84 and then 370.58. Again, this is off the 10-minute chart. Looking at the one-minute chart, and obviously this is going to change as we get closer and closer. If you want to use the uh, tighter box, uh, the Darvis will provide for you. Go ahead and do so. Uh, but again, target your stops or your targets based on those targets provided by Oscar. So if you're looking at Netflix, uh, your first target is going to be 368.84 to the downside. 368.84. So that is a pretty decent move uh, if you got in uh, when it broke down below here, for example. So 368.84 uh, for the first target to the downside. And then followed by this pivot down here at 368.05. Uh, on the upside, you can take a look at 372.74 for the first target. Uh, or adding, you can add there uh, on the break high. Um, you can add at 372.74 if it starts to break higher. And then the target is 375.67. Uh, 375.67 on the pivot and 375.07 uh, provided by Oscar here. So right below the pivot, which is not a bad idea to take some profits before the pivot and then, you know, leave some or one or two uh, for the pivot or just a smaller position just in case it does not make it all the way. Um, but as you can see on the daily, 375.09, it's, it's pretty much the, what was the high of this candle here? Three... 75, yep, 375 and change. So definitely, it's already lined up there for you. These, these, these target areas are already there, so just use them. All right, going into the next one, Adobe. All right, let's take a look at Adobe. All right, Adobe. All right, so for Adobe, we are looking at a couple areas here. So let me take a look in my box. And we have Adobe at 295.25 and 294.80. So it's a pretty tight box. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it on a different time frame. So let's see what it looks like. So we have 295.25, which it looks like it already broke above that. Um, and 294.8 has not changed. Uh, it's still there, but it's breaking to the upside here. So looking at these levels, let's see what we have. So for Adobe, uh, 297.99 uh, is the target. 297.28 is the first target for the pivot, followed by 297.99 is uh, provided by Oscar. Um, so if you're trying to go long, I mean, this is the, the move to the upside is kind of limited here. Um, and looking at the daily, 295. The next uh, target after that, 297, you're looking at 304. A high of 304, uh, if it makes it all the way up there. It can move about $4, just about just under $5 today. So a move to 300, uh, cannot, uh, it's not uh, out of the question here. Uh, and a move down to uh, 290. So it could potentially blow past both of these today. Yesterday it went from 290 to 295. So it definitely did its move. And as you can see, it's a steady mover. Whichever way it's going, that's the way it's going for the day. Um, and that's pretty much what it's done the last couple of times. So you can definitely expect this thing to, uh, to move today if you're going to trade Adobe. Uh, so if you get the break above the pre-market high, you can target, uh, first target can be the pivot, 290 followed by 297.99, followed by 300. Uh, on the downside, for me, I'm definitely not moving this uh, entry to the downside, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8, 294.8
followed by this pivot at 292.69, followed by the pivot at 290. Okay, and it's always good to layer in and layer out, guys. Um, it definitely it's going to increase your overall win ratio. Okay, and then last but not least, let's take a look at Amazon. And if you have a small account, stay away from Amazon. This is not uh, one you should be trading if you have a small account. That's why I left it for last. Uh, so if you guys have smaller accounts, Amazon options are very, very expensive. Uh, the, the entry levels still have not changed. I have them at 1911.1 and 1907. Um, these have not changed, um, as you can see here. But if you're looking for targets for Amazon, uh, you can definitely jump in at these levels. Uh, if definitely you can start adding uh, or entering Amazon as well on a break below this pivot. If you want to make it, wait for more confirmation, wait for the break below the pivot. Uh, Oscar is entering on a break below this pivot, for example, to the downside. He will add at 1901. And his target is 1897, which is this pivot here. Okay, so as you guys saw on the on the what was provided to you earlier on the box in chat, so you'll enter at 1903.97. So basically, on a break of this pivot here, adding at 1901.07 and targeting 1897, which is this pivot here. All right, to the upside, you're looking at a break of 1906, which we are already up above that. So for me, it would be a break above 1911. Uh, adding a 1909, which again, we're already above that, and then targeting 1911.52 uh, was his target, but we're already above that. So for me, it is a break of 1911 and targeting 1917.72. Amazon is a beast, and you guys know it'll move $30 uh, in the blink of an eye. So you can definitely expect Amazon to move today from 1911, possibly uh, to 1930, 1940, or 1911. Uh, 1910 to uh, 1890. It could potentially do that. I mean, uh, it is Friday, so I am expecting it to move a little bit more than it did yesterday. Uh, so let's see what Amazon has to offer us today. In either case, guys, that's it for today on this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, you hope you guys are ready for today. It's Friday. Let's have a good, awesome trading. Day.